it's Tanya here welcome back to Gray's Gorgeous if you're new to my channel welcome today we're going to be playing with some eyeshadow so let's get started um <clears throat> my lips are like majorly dry right now I just got done um fixing my hair a little bit so I'm just gonna put on some Vaseline intensive care all right, and we got to put lotion on the face. So I am using my Olay Original. Love this stuff. Great moisturizing. Let's prep my face, get it ready. Hmm. Need to put some down on the decollete a little bit. Keep the crepiness away. <laughs> All right, everybody getting ready for the holidays out there? Oh boy, another year. Can you believe it? Wow. This year has gone by so fast. It's like, what? Where'd it go? All right. let that soak in for just una momente and while that soaks in we will go ahead and get our wipe any excess off my brow so that we can do our brows let's go in with so i showed you the total temptations today i'm back to the yoa or joa as you know at cbs and i am trying the cool taupe i'm in love with the cool blonde but they, I got a coupon for $3 off, but you had to buy two products to get the $3 off. So I bought two brow pencils. They only had one cool blonde left and then they had a cool taupe. So I took those two. And so let me show you what this one looks like. I'm gonna brush up my brows here. Again, this is the micro pencil and this is the color here. You know what I should do for you guys is I should put this next to the cool blonde. Let's do it. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is the cool blonde, Yoa. And we'll put it up against the taupe. Let's do that. So you can get a good idea of what these two colors deliver. And perhaps that will help you when you're um, trying to figure out which one you like best. All right. I'm gonna try to do a bigger spot on my hand. Uh-oh, I just snapped the tip on that. That's one thing about the micros, you have to really be careful. The tips snap off easily. So what you wanna do when you start to use it is you don't want to put it up too high. You wanna start it nice and low like that. That way you won't have tip breakage. Okay, I'm definitely seeing the color difference here between these two. I'm trying to do a good block of color here so you can really get a good idea. So this um, will help you. And that's what I'm here to do. Help me and help you. <laughs> Find products that work for us. All right, so here is... Let me get this right so I know which one is which. This is the blonde. This is the cool blonde. And this is the cool taupe. So you get a really good idea. The cool blonde and the cool taupe. I hope that's coming through okay for you. I think it is. It looks pretty good here in this light. So you can see the cool blonde is very, very neutral. It's actually literally the perfect color for my skin tone, um, the taupe looks like it has some a little bit of warmth in it. Um, it too is cool, but it looks like it has a little, it's a little bit more brownish. So I don't know if you can, so the blonde and the taupe. All right, I hope that helps. Um, I'm in love with the blonde. I should just buy a case of it because I'm gonna be going through these quite a bit. And it is the first, the first drugstore pencil 
that matches my natural color to a T. And I'm so, so delighted to have found it. But right now I'm going to go ahead and apply the cool taupe um, because I bought it now and I'm going to go ahead and use it up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this and I shall be right back. All right, crooked or not, there they are. They're on. Woohoo! But the tips break off really easy, so you got to be careful. One thing you could do prior to using this is to warm it up just a little bit. How we used to do that when we were in high school, we used to kind of warm up our, um, our, like eyebrow pencils so that they would go on better, smoother. Just go ahead and give it some hot air like that. That might warm it up just a little bit so that it goes on smoother and it won't uh, break off. So that's what I would do. Just kind of put some, put some hot air on it. That's what we used to do in, in high school. We, you know, when we do the inside of our waterline with black, we would go, you know, and get that, that pencil nice and melty. And then we would like, or we'd use a lighter and kind of get it close to the heat. And then we'd, you know, it was an 80s thing. <laughs> anyway, all right. So let's um, put some concealer on. I've been putting my concealer on different. I watched some videos and I'm just, I put it on this area as if you follow me on my channel you know i do this as a shadow base because um, it kind of evens out my skin tone so that when the shadow goes on it goes on nice and smooth and even and so underneath and i know some <clears throat> channels don't recommend this but i'm doing the v now so i draw the v and the reason for that is, as I noticed that the, that the, um, different YouTubers, um, younger ones mostly do the V and I thought I would try it. So I tried it yesterday and I went, you know what? I really understand why they do that because otherwise you just have this strip of white under here you know, straight across. So I like to bring it down now into that V and blend it out. So it's a chance to blend that out a little bit. And so that's what I'm doing now. And I know there are YouTubers out there that say, don't, you're using too much, too much. But I've tried using a little less and it doesn't work for me because my skin's kind of dry. And even though I'm moisturizing, it just kind of starts to skitter and do all kinds of stuff. So I do put on a little bit more, but you put on what works for you. And I like to use my pinkies because I use a lot less pressure when I use my pinkies. And you can use a sponge, definitely a sponge or any type of brush, possibly uh, application, whatever works best for you. That's what I say. <laughs> Put a little bit more on that one and it just moisturizes too a little bit I could add some lotion to it to make it a little bit better anyway so now we're gonna set all of that <clears throat> and I'm just gonna set it with the wet and wild brulee this single here and I'm just gonna go ahead and set that and I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows too because I want to tone that color down just a bit because it is a little bit darker than I like. I'm not putting any powder underneath my eyes because I notice as I get older my skin um, too much powder on top of um, a product like this that's already down it just kind of starts to go into the fine lines and wrinkles and it dries out my under eye area so I don't like to put anything there. And of course, if you don't feel like you have any darkening or discoloring, you don't have to use any concealer. But I find, I think the older I get, the, the more darker it gets around my eyes. 
All right, so let's get to the fun part. All right, I have been using these two palettes from the Dollar Tree, and I am blown away again with the LA Colors Shadow for several reasons. I'm blown away for the wear time I get out. I'm blown away by the fact it doesn't crease. I'm blown away by the application. I'm blown away by the pigment being so perfect. And I'm blown away that it doesn't have a lot of dust off like some other shadows do. It is a really high quality shadow for a dollar. And I'm like, blows my mind. So I've been using this one. This one's called Glamorous. And as you can see, I'm hitting pan already. And then I was in the Dollar Tree picking up some cleaning supplies and I decided to try this uh, 12 pan and it's called Chic. So these are tw 12 pans and the pans are small. So this is a very compact to put in your purse. See, it's about that big to the size of my hand, so it's not some Kowankin, you know, palette. It's very compact, easy to travel with, and here they are. So this is Glamorous, and this is Chic. Make sure I'm getting both of the viewfinder there, so you can see the colors there. So Glamorous has a lot of taupey browns, so if you're into that, and you like the warmer colors, but you want them to be somewhat on the cool side. And then this one, as you can see, has more purples and grayish purples. Very beautiful as well, and I love these. The only thing I don't like about this one is it only has one highlight color, and it's, a, it's like a white color. So this one seems to have a few more here down at the bottom. And these are mostly mattes. Both pans are mostly mattes. And so I would consider some of them semi-shimmer, but they're mattes to me. In fact, this one particularly, I feel like with the exclusion of these two, I have my finger on here at the bottom. I think they're mattes, all mattes. So if you love mattes and look how great they go with the gray hair. Huh? What do you think? Good, right? A dollar hello big big savings so as i've been using the glamorous for a while as you can see it's got that nice brown in it um and i'm going to go ahead with this flat head brush and i talked about this in my last video use any brush you prefer but i I'm, I'm using a placement method and i am going to let's see what palette should i do today you know what, let me go ahead and since I haven't officially done the Glamorous palette with you, let me go ahead and use this palette today. And I'm gonna use that brown down there, that taupe. It's more of a taupe that I've been using on the daily and I'm gonna show you, this is such a great everyday taupey color and it's just beautiful. You will see, it just, this stuff glides on. I mean, it's smooth. It lasts all day. There's no dust off. I can jiggle and wiggle and there's barely any dust off on this. Um, it's so user friendly. It's such a user friendly palette and such a go to everyday palette. And as my sister likes to say, it's a workhorse. This one, I am working this one. As you can see, I've hit pan already on this color and there's a few more that have substantial dips in them and I just love this palette. I could throw this on at like a minute's notice. Like if I have to, like right now, you know, I'm getting ready to go to work so I'm doing this quickly. I can just throw this on, pat play this, this on and I know the color looks fantastic. I know it's going to wear all day. I know it's going to be an easy application. And look at how quick that is. It's just bup, 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 bup on. And it looks good. It looks good. And it does not oxidize. So these colors aren't going to change up on you or do something weird. Um, 
and I'm just so completely impressed uh, with it. Just really, I'm just so, so impressed with it. All right, and then I'm going to just go back into that brulee. You don't have to do this step because I've already put the brulee underneath, but I'm going to just put a little bit on top just to kind of blend those lines in just a scotch. So I'm just wiping off the brush that I was using before, and I'm just going to go in with this brulee up here for the highlight and kind of blend that line out a little bit and then go down here on the lid just a little bit halfway. That seems to work for me. You have to work with your eye shape. For some women, it works to put the darker color all on the top lid. If you have a lot of distance between your lash line and your crease, the all over dark color on the lid is probably best. If you have a smaller section there, you have to put some light in this areas here and that will open up your eye a bit and it won't close it down. At least that's what I've noticed. And not being a makeup professional or guru, because <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> um, I just try things and if they work, I share them with you. So there we go. Boom, boom, on and done, one and done. And I think I exceeded the line just a little bit here. We'll just clean that up. And then I'm gonna go in with my brown wet and wild pencil. And I will put all this down in the description box below. And I'm gonna go for a diagonal flick on this. I'm gonna go up at a diagonal line. I'm just making a little line. That's and I'm going bolder back here and I'm not going to the edge. And what that does is it helps to lift up my eye a little bit and opens and opens it up a bit. If I do color all on top, it will start to close down. So I don't do that. I just go diagonal line from here to here. One swipe generally, and that's it. And I leave it. Now I can go back in getting stuff all over my face. I can go back in with a little Q-tip and blur it a bit. Lasts all day. I love the Wet n Wild. It's not too, it's not too hard and it's not too soft. It seems to be in the Goldilocks zone, which is just right. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my powder. I'm finishing up the Ulta a uh, wet to dry adjusting coverage foundation and I'm almost done so let's finish it up and I'm just swirling that onto my skin just kind of diffusing the pores and evening out my skin tone which works wonderfully. All right. Okay. There we go. Just kind of blurs everything. Minimizes my pores a bit. Looks good. Oh, the seat keeps on wanting to shrink down. All right, very good. And then we're going to go in with the CoverGirl. This is a CoverGirl blush in mink, soft mink. If you like uh, NARS Orgasm, you'll like this one. Got a little bit of a, a glow to it. See how that glows? Real pretty. This is what it looks like up close. Very uh, nice color for women with um, fair, my fair skinned beauties out there. It might even work with medium skin tone and I just use it like a bronzer because it is kind of a combo between a blush and a bronzer. Just gives you that nice glow. Awesome. I even use the full size brush that comes in there. CoverGirl made in the USA. Ah. All right. And I'm going to hit it with some um, Snapscara in brown. 
and then I'm out the door. Getting a little clumpy, ladies. I might have to buy a new one or switch brands. I like to try new things, so I'll probably try a new brand. I still have the Bambi, the L'Oreal Bambi. I have to use that one up as well. What I should do is I should probably put a little sticker on the side to let me know when I purchased it. That's something you can do, like a little sticker or just tape a piece of paper that says the date that you purchased it on because I tend to forget and I like to switch them out like every couple months just because it's good, you know, bacteria and stuff get in there. But All right, that's it. I am ready for work. This is what I look like when I go to work and I don't, I'm not wearing any lipstick at this time. Um, also, I'd like to recommend you put on some sunscreen as always. Um, I, I use the um, Neutrogena Baby sun stick in SPF 60. It's like a, you know, you can't really see it too much. It's not too white, but it's got the zinc oxide. So it has natural sunscreen, does not have the chemical sunscreen in it. And I use that sometimes under, but I'm going to be wearing a full mask today and I'm going to be inside. So, all right. So that is that. Take you in closer, show you what I did there. All right, hope some of those products work for you. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions. Also post them down there um, if you have any questions. But I will put everything I use down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching as always. Hope you're doing well and um, we will catch you next time. Uh, click like if you like the content of this video. That lets me know that you like it and it also comes up on the feed more so other people watch my videos and that generates uh, more viewership and all of that so that helps me out big time um, but only if you want to all right thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time bye for now